Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday in Hallow Beans. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. You found me during Hallow Beans on Mondays and Fridays, scary movies in night vision. On Wednesday, something a little more lighthearted. Now, we are approaching the end of Hallow Beans, and something you may or may not know is I've been doing the Hocus Pocus 13 Frights of Halloween advent calendar with you. And so today, Today is nine found it and so it just has all the sisters on there let's pop it open let's see what we got today also don't forget that you have a little over a week left to get your hello beans merch new designs this year along with the classic pumpkin hello beans shirt okay so in the advent calendar for day number nine you have you have the hocus pocus activity book first thing you have a little crossword puzzle first thing very cute you get little miniature coloring pages little it's a broom in the vacuum oh I love these I don't know why I love these but I love spot the differences games anyways number nine is a little activity book I was gonna say the last Monday in Halloween but it's not the last Monday because actually Halloween falls on a Monday this year so that's really exciting for us but if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail I am watching Tucker and Dale versus evil today now you're probably thinking if you're like some patrons saying that Tucker and Dale versus evil is not necessarily a night vision movie and you might be right but when I asked Chris millennial movie member 1000th ghost who requested this movie for this month um, he said it's kind of like Shaun of the Dead which Shaun of the Dead was a great mix of comedy and jump scares and a little bit of gore I thought why not watch it in night vision because that would make the jump scares even jump scarier and that would make the gore even gorier break up some of that with comedy because I'm a chicken shit so it sounded like a good time for me so actually you know what I haven't done in a hot second on the channel for Hello Beans I have not looked up a movie poster I don't have internet at this house so we're not gonna be doing that again today we're we're not gonna be doing that um so Tucker and Dale versus Evil he said it like I said Chris told me that it was kind of like Shaun of the Dead so it's gonna be a comedy horror movie probably Tucker and Dale so it sounds like two dudes versus evil what is that evil i don't know who are tucker and dale i don't know my dad's name is dale but i don't think he's been in any movies two guys taking on evil i don't know where this takes place i don't know what kind of shenanigans we're gonna get into in this movie but y'all seemed really hyped whenever you found out that i was watching it so that makes me excited so no more little dally let's get right on into today's millennial movie monday at the very end of hallow beans this is tucker and dale versus evil Is this Resident <laughs> Evil 7? Isn't this how this game starts, kinda? Right up on your <laughs> oh, shit! Damn. Okay, listen, so far this seems like a night vision movie. Omega Beta, or you're a freak. Oh, my I'm in a car full of morons. I feel the same way, girl. That doesn't mean they're hillbillies. Some people just like to drink a beer and drive in the woods with no shirt on. We forgot the beer. No! no! <laughs> where is this? Is this a West Tennessee? I'm just kidding. That's not where it said West Virginia. But if you ever wonder what it looks like where I grew up, this. Hey, Chad, do we need more bugs? You absolutely need more bug spray in the Appalachian Mountains. Nah, what? Pickled eggs, six pounder. <laughs> oh, just raw hand in the pickled eggs. She's just human. Why don't you go over there and talk to her? Yeah, she ain't gonna bite. What in the world would I say? I don't know. You want a pickled egg? You are a good looking man. Yep. More or less. <laughs> Why are you walking over there with that thing? Go camping? <laughs> okay, not uh not like this, buddy. Not like this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, oh okay. crouching tiger! I told you, Tucker. I'm a zero with the ladies. Maybe don't approach him with a weapon. They hate my face. They don't hate your face. Ah, uh, what are you? Uh. Lord, your shirt's undone and everything. What you been doing down there? We are headed to our vacation home up by Morris Lake. Oh, pulling the vacation home card. He's been striking out with the ladies. I figure a little man time. You ain't gotta talk about him like that. He's right there. Up there, 
but pain and suffering on a scale you can't even imagine. You don't think that was a wee bit dramatic, officer? He was jealous because he can't afford a place of his own. That's what it is. To the good life, man. To the good, to the good life. Cheers. You got a wood chipper? It's perfect. I was gonna say it looks great. Well, she's just a little dusty, is all. I was gonna say, dust, sweep, you're good. Whoever used to live here must have been a, an archaeologist or something. Yeah, we need to get rid of those. Ah, uh, maybe we should not. Buy three, get two free, no expiration date. Jackpot in your new vacation home. Dreams really do come true. Oh, that's a support bit. Oh. Well, I guess we should fix that. Yes. You can get off of me now. Or kiss a little. It was 20 years ago today. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> With your inhaler, you look like a douchebag. Pump it up, pump it up. Yeah, pump up the jams. Oh, no. This is not good. Yeah, put that back on. I'm sorry. Ew, ew, what is that? There's a lake back there. Who wants to go skinny dipping? Bad idea in the woods. That's because you don't stick up for yourself. Take the beer. Oh shit, scared. What? You're totally freaking me out. Same girl. You and I, Allie, are cut from a different cloth. Okay, this guy is stressing me out. Uh, what about that entire interaction made you think she wanted to kiss you, my guy? I think we should go check it out. No, no. Oh, you're gonna scare him. You're gonna scare him. I really want to see us right now. Yeah. No, I kind of want to see them. <laughs> Get into it, girl. I wouldn't be jumping off a rock in the middle of the night in a lake you've never been in because you don't you don't know what the terrain is underneath or how shallow it is. Oh. Damn! <laughs> oh, well. Prancing around in front of you half naked. You do not yell out my name. She didn't come up yet. Oh no! Oh no! You know, I also think this is a reason why I didn't buy into the Blair Witch Project because I know how to survive in the woods. Or at least how to find civilization in the woods. See, Dale is brave. Oh, there she is. Now where's Dale? Ah, we got your friend! Worded differently! Oh, what a big misunderstanding this is! <laughs> Oh, I thought he was aiming at them in the boat. Jesus Christ, scared me. This is not gonna look well for her, is it? Waking up in this cabin with these newspaper clippings and such. And a one-eyed dog. It's a pancakes. You hate pancakes. I'm, I'm gonna make you something else. I love him! Pancakes. Yeah, breakfast. Breakfast this morning. You took a big sleep. But it looked like one of the guys was eating her face off. You definitely didn't see that. We can handle this on our own. No, no, no. What if I go? Okay, these dudes and their pop collars. I can't. I can't deal with this. What is this place? A vacation home. He even picked her flowers. I'm gonna cry. Stop it. Dale is so nice. Uh, me and Tucker. I mean, uh, uh, I and... You're doing great, Dale. And then, uh, dove in and rescued you. Yeah, you did. Um, some people just aren't any good in the crisis. Me, I'm not. I never really had much fashion sense anyway. Me neither. <laughs> he's drooling. I know. Well, girl, you got eggs and bacon in front of him. Of course he's drooling. To meet you, Allie. What's up? <laughs> this is so cute. Stop it. Do you like board games? What kind do you have? <laughs> Me. Damn Romeo. You've been telling him to do his thing. He's doing his thing. Okay, you know what? If I saw a crow on a skull, I'd turn around. A beehive? Okay, that's really funny. That's really funny. Use your words! Communicate! Oh my god! Oh no. Oh no. What a giant misunderstanding. Who was the fifth president of the United States? Oh, that's too easy. That's James Monroe. Really? Wow, good job. I would not have guessed that. Where I'm dumb as a stump, but I remember everything that I ever heard. 
there's a difference between education and intellect. That is true. True. Accurate. I'm getting my bachelor's degree in psychology. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I have these stupid dreams. Dreams are not stupid. Yes, Dale! Dreams are not stupid! Allison, don't talk about your dreams like that. Problems and conflicts in the world are caused by a lack of communication, you know? Yeah, like your friend getting impaled. I saw it into a bee's nest. Oh. Why? <laughs> we came out here to work. Oh, you know that burns! Over there and I pull those stingers out of your face and... All right, I blocked that, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Do you really have to pull out the bee stingers? I've never been stung by a bee. He must be allergic to bees or something because he was running like a bat out of hell. Yeah, that's what it was. The bees. Tucker and Dale are on the case. Ain't that right, Tucker? <laughs> Dale is on the case. He can win over just about anybody, can't you, Tucker? Real people person. Oh, wow. Okay, well. All right. Especially with that face. Oh, that doesn't look good on Tucker and Dale, does it? It doesn't work out here. Well, now it definitely doesn't. We're finished. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed by that. Good job. Yeah. Come on, girl, get it together. Also, these are some shitty hiding spots y'all keep choosing. When we get back, I'll finish her off real quick, and then we'll get back to work. The miscommunication! College kid! College kid! Do you see the dead body? Tucker, you look rough as hell. All right, please hurry up. My okay. face is as hot as a hemorrhoid right now. <laughs> okay, well, that doesn't look good. So. What's going to happen with the wood chipper? Did you guys have my friends? Uh, look at you, how you style clothes. Good for you, girl. What are you doing? Uh, digging oh, a hole. Digging a shitter hole. Shitter hole. Oh. I grew up on a farm. Yeah, don't underestimate us. Dale is in love, and I love that for him. You getting a little too close to that chipper, my guy. Oh, oh, oh! Hit her with the shovel, Lord! Everything is bad. Another impale? She's unconscious because she got hit within the head with the shovel. Who's about to go in the wood chipper? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. What you gonna do with that little pocket pocket knife? Pocket knife. <laughs> Tucker, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, Tucker. Are you okay? <laughs> Allison, say something. Poor Allison. Okay. And, She's just had a lot of head trauma. In his pants, it looked like it might have been one of the college kids. What the hell happened to her? So much has happened in this movie. Now, calm down. Don't cry. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. You can cry, Dale. I know what this is. What? This is a suicide pact. You know what? I don't blame you for coming to that conclusion. Think about it. That's why they acted so funny after we saved her because they want her dead. I see how you're connecting the dots. Call the police. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them what happened. Mm -mm. Yeah, because that's going to be super believable. And what looks like what happened is pretty nasty. Yeah, true. Accurate. So we don't call the police. Dying isn't good for you either, but that doesn't seem to be stopping anybody. True. And she's covered in her friend's blood. So, like, let her smoke a cigarette. Or should have come out here. I mean, whose stupid idea was this? <laughs> Chad. Never trust a Chad. You guys are all a bunch of fucking pussies. That's why you went and knocked on the door, huh? To be free from people always telling you what you can and can't do. Okay, this dude's crazy. Maybe you deserve to die. Okay, Chad's crazy. Chad is crazy crazy. Oh, was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. Oh, God! It's a huge misunderstanding, and they're not fine. I hope Chad gets arrested. Oh, my God, I'm stoned for this time. Oh, no. Could you imagine... This door had better not charge me for this. <laughs> Dragging it over Dale's face. Oh god. He's heavy oh, for god. half a guy. Stop it! Oh, this this does not look good! And can't nobody bash for them because Allison got knocked in the head. We have had a doozy of a day. A real doozy. <laughs> 
making some improvements to my new house. The new house? Vacation home. Started killing themselves all over my property. Yeah, they're, they're, they're You're not here. wrong, but it's very hard to believe. But we were scared shitless. Scared shitless. I... <laughs> As anyone would be. And I'm some kind of moron to believe a story like that. Ugh, knew you weren't gonna, it wasn't gonna go well. They might be trying to kill the girl that we have inside. Ooh, shouldn't brought up the girl. If I hadn't knocked her unconscious with a shovel. <laughs> On accident, when the one with the sphere came at you. You say she's unconscious? Yeah, she's in my bedroom. Could have let that out, too. Yeah, right, right this way, let's show them. Okay, Come on, let's put this leg down. Put this leg down? <laughs> Just go leave their friend's half body in front of them? A psycho killers to you? <laughs> well. <laughs> Be deceiving. Oh, no, no! somebody oh smart getting the gun i didn't even think about that in the heat of the moment good for you oh you gotta take the safety off on the side don't tell him don't tell him don't, don't oh my god uh, uh. can't just be wiggling a gun around like that listen chad's psychopath ass has been waiting for this moment i'm good samaritan oh my god she's drowning tucker <laughs> This whole thing on her. I'm blaming this whole thing on you. I love that y'all just laid in the floor having this conversation. That isn't even an option. I don't even like fishing. <gasps> you don't like. Wow. Really? What do you mean you don't like fishing? I, I mean. He just says it to spend time with his best friend. Shit. Stay low. <laughs> Stay low. Stay low to the ground. Keep your hat. <laughs> Them rolling around on the floor is so funny. Think of them like moving two by fours. Oh! Oh, them some big nails. You want some of this? Can a nail gun really shoot that far? I'm really impressed. Nice. Cause y'all gonna run out of bullets, but he's still got plenty of nails. I swear to God, I'm getting really mad. <laughs> oh, is he gonna shoot Tucker? Oh, no, he just got caught. Okay. It is a beautiful day for a run, isn't it? Yeah, or a chase. Honey, you don't fit behind that log. Oh, but the leaves, even better. Good idea. I didn't expect him to actually find him. Uh, hey, he's awake. I'm actually kind of proud of him for setting up a trap. I didn't think they were that smart. I know you kids are having fun, but I am not a thrill seeker. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Also, I really think Chad is like a psychopath. Hey, I got 10 to 12 beers in there. Oh yeah? They're yours. All yours. No! <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? I mean, cut him, but what part of him? I can't really say. Uh... You can cry, Dale. It's okay. You can cry. There you go. Have a big cry, take a big nap. That's what I do when I'm upset. Do some of your friends take medication? Because I think they forgot to take it. <laughs> and now they're going after my dog. Jankers. Poor Dale! Be some kind of mistake. My my friends would never hurt any- <laughs> Oh shit! 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 The knocking. Got me. What? What? Let me see. Oh yeah, oh, she's finding more dead bodies. Yeah, girl, it's scary out there. You've missed a lot. Is it gonna be a finger? What is that? Two fingers! God, cause they cut off his bowling fingers! Not the bowling fingers. There's, there's a note. There's a note right there. Well, Dale, you read it! How, how long was I out for? A hot second. Twice. Your friends have gone big crazy. Friends, Chad. Chad has gone big crazy. A, 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 a little creepy. Because you walked up with the big Grim Reaper scythe thingy. That if a guy like me talked to a girl like you, somebody'd end up dead. Dale, Dale, stop. Wait. <laughs> Did they just break up without actually being together? Because I'd be sad for Dale. His friend's gone. His dog's gone. 
He's almost girlfriend. They just ended stuff. Shit! Oh, oh, it's that guy. Hey! Tucker! Yeah. Mm, he don't sound good. It's a what? It's a trap. What? It's a trap. No, hold on, please. Oh, God. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad I'm not hung like a bear. <laughs> Wait. God, you could have broken his fall with something. This vacation sucks. <laughs> yeah. Look at this place. Oh, no, and they're going to see the bombs. They're going to see the killer newspaper things. What have they done to you, Allie? Huh? Play board games. Get for breakfast. It's been a huge misunderstanding. We have to burn this place to the ground. What, Chad? No idea what this is all about. No, no, because you're being weird, Chad. When someone who's been kidnapped ends up falling in love with their kidnapper. <sighs> it's like, yes, that happened, but like, she's also telling the truth. Falling in love with that freak. Oh, well, I'm falling so in love is not going to help this whole Chad issue. In love with him. No, she's Don't not. Hot. I did not expect him to put an axe to her throat. Oh, Fuck off, hillbilly. Eat shit, body perm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this sounds like a good idea. I'll provide the finger sandwiches. <laughs> Are you? What is up with him pouring beer on open wounds? I feel like that would burn so bad. Is that chamomile tea? Because I can't have that. It fucks with my asthma. Oh, goodness. Do you have asthma? And he didn't even know that she was pregnant with me yet. Well, she had to live because you're here. Oh, oh no. Oh, absolutely not. Okay, Chad, that's super unfortunate, and I'm sorry that that happened to your parents. My mother was already institutionalized. But, like, dude, that shit crazy, bro. Thank, thank you for sharing this. <laughs> thank you for sharing with the group, Chad. We come in guns blazing. You don't even have a gun. Damn. <laughs> so, look. Are they drinking tea? Yeah, sit around, have a tea. They're best friends. Come on. Okay, why is the other girl that's in the cabin not drinking tea and also not doing anything to help? May not have been you, but it was definitely your kind. Okay. Wow. Not good. Not nice. It was going so well. Oh yeah, and he did pour gas earlier. Oh, it got the friend. Oh, girl, no, that's probably Moonshine. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Crackling like a log. Crackling like a log. Yeah, and then Chad poured gas earlier. So we're just all gonna die today. Hey, you got your cigarette. Okay, Allison, everything that just happened in the past 30 seconds, that's what the whole day has been like, and that's why all your friends are dead. Hey, no way. Hey, no way, Chad. Uh, we're not gonna help him. Mm -mm, no thanks. Yo. Revenge is a powerful thing. You know what? I never saw this movie going this way. They all look out! You had one job, Dale, and that was to drive the truck. You took her. Chad did? I'll tell you something, Dale. It's gonna be a long time before I take a vacation again. <laughs> And we used to go catch frogs down at that creek. Oh, I love catching frogs. Because I felt sorry for you. I remember you used to let me lick them all, too. Oh, Dale, no. You caught them on your own. You was quicker than I was. Come on. No, I think that she really sees you for who you are. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Especially because she always falling down and hitting her head. True. She's always doing that. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's his two missing finger hand. Do me a favor. Anything. What? Kick the shit out of that little college dickhead for me. Absolutely! Dale, you, what happened to your machete? You go in there and no weapons. You've gone hillbilly on me. Yo. That, that special effects makeup is so cool. Ew, stop. Ew, I hate everything about this. Oh, the welding mask? This is gonna be great. Allie, hey, it's just me, hey. It's okay. Dale? Yeah, Allie, who, who else is gonna come save you? What am I look kind of intimidating? Does it? 
Yeah. It's no big deal. I was I was headed over this way anyway, so. <laughs> Dale, don't try to play it cool right now. Oh my god, this is so wild. This is so wild. I was gonna say, use the chainsaw to cut the rope underneath where he tied her. Yeah, 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 like that. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Okay, there's a lot of big things happening and I'm stressed. Oh lord! Oh! This is the worst place to get in a fight. She's over there screaming Dale as if she can't see that he's getting his ass beat right now. Like, he's not just ignoring you, baby girl. He's fighting for both y'all's life. Frat bitch. <laughs> Frat bitch. You know what? There's been a lot of chainsaws this Halloween. Listen, let me tell you something. Uh, I would have finished him. I would have taken that chainsaw straight up finished him. I love this. I never would have thought that the chamomile tea would have came in handy. He looks just like that Kentucky Fried College kid down there. Kentucky Fried College kid! He's the child of the killer. Holy S H I T. <laughs> Are you ready for your whole world to be flipped upside down, Chad? Because here you go. I mean, your mom went through something pretty traumatic, so I don't think they necessarily lied to you, but they wanted to protect you. Wow, Dale. Like I said, I remember weird stuff. You do have a weird brain. I don't think the inhaler is going to fix that one. All the other deaths were sad, because nobody deserved it, but like, I will not be pouring one out for Chad. Wow. And you can't tell anybody the truth, because they're not going to believe it. <gasps> Tucker! Hey, buddy! They found my fingers. Check it out. Hell yeah. I like that finger now. Oh, buddy. That's a PBR, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What else I got you? A bendy straw. And a bendy straw! Oh, what a good day. You are hopeless. You know that you're hopeless. Yeah. You're not hopeless, Dale. We're going bowling. <laughs> Fun! And Tucker, once your fingers heal, maybe I shouldn't make that hand gesture, but once your fingers heal, you can go bowling with them. <laughs> that girl has got an amazing set of bowling fingers. Because <laughs> she doesn't have an amazing set. She has, like, nothing. She's also a member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Yes, it's a... <laughs> To help it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be better if you wear that every day. Cause you always be getting hit in the noggin. What do you mean for what? I had a great time. Well, except for all the killings and the all the blood and it's a lot happening. Aww! <laughs> what the hell happened? He's dragging her off. Okay, well, you know what? Not not my circus, not my monkeys. Get into it, y'all. Let's talk about it. First off, Chris, you were so right. This is exactly, this is Shaun of the Dead, but not zombie. And I had a great time. Number one, why is Dale such a great character? I love him. Hmm. I love Dale. And him and Tucker together are so funny. This was a very cute movie. You are correct. People who commented to say it was, you know, it didn't have to be done in night vision. Absolutely, it didn't have to be done in the dark. But I do feel like it made the, the what, what few jump scares there were. I feel like watching it in total darkness made the jump scare scarier, just like intro Ashley said. I don't regret watching it in night vision. I think you could watch it in the daylight or the nighttime and it'd still be great. Dale is the best character ever. Number two, you know what? Their casting for Chad was spot on because Chad was a dick. If you like Shaun of the Dead, you would like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. And you don't even have to watch it around Halloween time. If you just like horror comedy, you would like this movie. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd watch it again tomorrow. So I'm going to give it four out of five stars. And as far as my list goes, where I'm going to put it on the Hello Beans list, I think I'm going to put it... I'm going to I'm gonna make it equal with From Dusk Till Dawn. Just because, again, because From Dusk Till Dawn, it's like the first half was like, you know, it was like the first half was an action movie and then all of a sudden vampires. It almost felt like two separate films. Tucker and Dale, a few good jump scares. The gore was amazing. Like the, the special effects makeup, amazing. But it wasn't scarier than Scream or Friday 13th. It didn't have me on my toes like Seven did. So that's why it's down with From Dusk Till Dawn. Now, if I was going to put this on like a Wednesday poll, I think it would have been second place under Little Shop of Horrors had I watched this in not night vision and I only compared it to like the light harder the lighthearted stuff, it would go under here. Just saying, if you're looking for something 
more comedy and less scary. Tucker and Dale could definitely fit on a lighthearted note, but if we keep it in just in the scary movie category, it's going to be tied with From Dust Till Dawn for me anyway. Enjoyed it though. Dale is probably the most lovable character I've seen in a hot second. So Chris, thank you so much for supporting me, the channel, and Beans like you do. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around. Don't forget about the Halloween's giveaway. Don't forget about Halloween's merch going away in about two weeks. Your last chance to get a hold of these. Coming up Wednesday is The Monster Squad. Coming up Friday is Army of Darkness from Ingie Bingy 2000. And then actually Halloween is going to be Event Horizon. I don't know what this means for us. So like, subscribe, stick around, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeiverse. And I'll see you right back here on Wednesday for The Monster Squad. Bye.